If you want students who mastered fluency, you're in the right place. I will show you how Number Talks, using dot images, will have your students not only recall but truly understand all the ways to add within 10. Before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great math content. You may be familiar with Sherry Parrish's text, Number Talks. I utilize the dot strings in this book to build and strengthen my students' fluency. What is a string, you may ask? A string is a set of related math problems, crafted to support students to construct big ideas about mathematics and build their own strategies. Here's an example of a string. Although the three images are different, they all have some things in common. Yes, all three dot images represent the total of five. They can all also be broken into two and three using straight lines. If my goal is to support my learners in breaking the number five into two and three, I may use this string during my number talk. I can also use this string to highlight the difference between horizontal and vertical lines. Before facilitating any number talk, make sure to check out my video on the five key components for a successful session. For my youngest learners, I would start building fluency within five. Let's try one together. Remember, the total time for the string is 10 minutes, so each image, if I'm showing three, should take about three minutes. I often recommend that you flash the dot image for three seconds at first. This encourages the learners to visually group the dots. The fancy name for this skill is called subitizing. Ready. Here we go. How many dots did you see? I can flash it again if you need. You may say you saw four. I will collect three to four answers from my students without confirming which one is correct. Now, I will ask you, how did you see your answer? Some students may say, I just knew it's four. Or, that they counted one by one. That's okay. They will get better at clustering the dots with time. One might say, I saw two dots on top and two dots on the bottom. And two plus two makes four. After each share of a strategy, encourage students to show, using this hand signal, if they also saw it that way. Another student might say I saw two dots on the right and two dots on the left and two plus two makes four. Again, show this hand signal if you agree. If a student says, I saw two dots and two dots and I know that makes four. Probe and ask, where did they see the first two dots, then where did they see the other two? Now, I will flash my second image, notice that the images are labeled alphabetically to show you the order they need to be revealed. How many dots did you see? I will ask my follow-up question after collecting three to four possible answers. How did you see your answer? One student may say, I saw two dots on the left and two dots on the right and two plus two makes four. Ask to show this signal if others agree or if that's how they also figured out their answer. Another student may say that they saw four dots in a horizontal line. This signal will not only serve as a quick assessment, but it will ensure that your students are engaged and listening to others' strategies. Are you ready for our final dot image? How many dots did you see? You may have noticed the pattern and that all of the dot images are four. The value in the number talk is not the answer, rather it's the strategy. How did you see your answer? This one gets more interesting. One student might say, I saw two dots on the top and two dots on the bottom. Two plus two has a sum of four. Another student might say, I saw two dots in a diagonal line on the right and another two in a diagonal line on the left, again, two plus two equals four. Don't forget to prompt about the agree signal. There is no disagree signal in number talks. Remember, we're trying to build a positive math community. Another student may share that they saw one dot on the top left and three dots in a triangle on the right. And that one plus three is four. Allow students to share whichever way they saw the dots, even if it's not how you saw it. That's the beauty in this routine, it allows the learner to own the learning. As a quick summary for this number talk, I can ask the students to share some of the ways we made four today. 
We saw 2 plus 2 equals 4 and 1 plus 3 equals 4. We also used the terms top, bottom, left, right, diagonal, and triangle. A couple of reminders before you start facilitating dot image string number talks. Do not create your own images, instead, use Sherry Parrish's text as a resource. Follow the order in the text. Image A, then image B, then image C. Try your best to stay within the 10 minutes, even if you don't get to all three images, revisit the string the next day if you need to. Also, there is no paper and pencil during this routine. You can run your finger over the image to show the dots being referenced. The lines I used were simply to model the thinking but do not write on the dot image while facilitating. Lastly, this routine gets better with practice. The more you use it, the better you will get at facilitating and your students will get better at explaining their thinking. Go ahead and try it in your math classroom.